Here we have the transceive cables. Those are going to go between the transmitter and uh, receiver. Made those out of some RG58 coax. Right there's the transmitter. Going to carefully get the lid opened up and uh, feed the cables in uh, through the back side there. Got a red cable. Uh, we're going to hook that up to the VFO input on the chassis. Then the black cable is going to go to the receiver crystal oscillator input. Then we're going to move the gray cable from the transmit uh, oscillator over to the receive oscillator and close the lid up. Then we go over to the uh, receiver. Feed the cables in the back. And hook the red cable up to the VFO output. And the black cable goes to the oscillator output. Next, we're going to hook up the receive antenna uh, cable. Uh, this lets us share the antenna between both the transmitter and receiver, and it does uh, all the TR switching uh, internally. This needs to be a coax jumper. There's the muting cable. Uh, this can be a standard uh, audio cable. Goes from the mute on the receiver to the receive mute on the transmitter. Next, we're going to hook up the uh, meter light on the 312B4. That's nice to have a backlit meter, especially you turn the lights down in the ham shack uh, just a bit and uh, can watch the tubes glow and the, the meter lights. That's kind of neat to, to do. At least I like it. Going to hook that up into the back of the uh, transmitter. Collins uh, provided us with a 6.3 volt uh, AC output on the back of the transmitter. It goes in right there. Next we're going to hook up the uh, audio cable from the back of the 312B4. And to the uh, 75S3B receiver goes to the 4 ohm audio jack. And lastly, we're going to hook up the uh, coax jumper cable from the RF out up to the uh, transmit side of the directional coupler on the 312B4. The directional coupler has N connectors on it. Uh, I like to use a uh, N elbow and then put a uh, N to UHF adapter on the elbow so that I can use my standard uh, UHF jumpers that I have uh, in the shack. You can uh, hook this up however you like. Right there's the antenna side. Uh, we're going to hook up a uh, antenna there. And uh, there's our uh, microphone we're going to use today. Going to hook it up to the mic connector. Going to set the bands to the same on both the transmit and receive. Preset, preset the exciter tuning and the preselector and the PA tuning. Meter to grid. And uh, we're going to go to tune apply some uh, mic gain and we're going to need to uh, adjust the exciter tuning for a little bit of uh, grid drive. You also have to peak the pre-selector on the receiver when in uh, transceive mode to get uh, proper uh, uh, grid drive. You got to peak both the exciter tuning and the pre-selector. Just dip the plate there a little bit. Got our 100 mils just like we usually do. Go to lock key, 
bring up the mic gain, do final dip there, and uh, set uh, our loading. We're going to end uh, antenna this time, so it's going to be slightly different than a dummy load. And 230 mils there, got about 110 watts out. CQ20, CQ20, CQ, 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 November Tango, H Ontario, NT80, calling CQ20 and bye for call. Tango H Ontario. Name here is Mike, Mike India Kilo Echo, and uh, we're here in central Ohio. Back to you, N N0 KAB. This is NT80. QSL Gene, well uh, thanks for stopping in and saying hello. Uh, running today, uh, Vintage Station uh, Collins S Line Set, uh, 32S3 uh, transmitter, 75S3B receiver, and the uh, 312B4 uh, station console. Uh, running about uh, 125 watts today into a uh, 300 foot dipole antenna fed with 600 ohm ladder line. And uh, we're tuning that uh, with a uh, Johnson uh, Matchbox uh, antenna tuner. So uh, that's uh, working conditions here, Gene. We run a kind of old uh, classic uh, line here. It's not vintage like you would have there, but we do have vintage equipment here. We've got uh, Swan gear, and we've got a restored HT37 Hallicrafter with a hammer on HT180 and uh, amplifiers, uh, BTI, Brad Thompson Industry LK2000. We're not using it right now, but we're, uh, we're running a little uh, uh, Kenwood 830S model here. Hello. Yeah, only peeking out about right at close to 100 watts into a uh, Peace Class A4S beam on a uh, Yaesu uh, G1000DX rotor. And uh, we can uh, uh, go on uh, talking about the, the BTI and uh, that uh, HT32 and stuff like that. So. Good chatting with you, and uh, uh, we'll look for you uh, later on down the long. N0KAB, uh, this is NT80. Oh, okay, well, I just thought I'd pass that along there to you. be very interesting next time I touch base with you to see, you know, if you've gotten that far along and see how you're doing on it, regardless, you know what I mean? So, well, very good. I'm going to scoot and boogie. I'm going to fix me a quick sandwich here and uh, sit down and uh, catch the uh, news here before too long. So, other than that, 73, God bless. Okay, bye bye, Gene. That uh, sound sandwich sounds like a good idea. I think uh, maybe uh, maybe we'll join you in one there. Hi hi. Seventy threes. Uh, take care. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. 